welcome back to our channel today we are going to dive into a very important topic that is lazy loading in angular so with lazy loading we can significantly improve the initial load performance of our angular applications by loading only the required modules when they are actually needed so without any further ado let's dive in so first of all let's ensure we have an angular application to work with if you don't have one ready then you can create a new one by running this command ng new lazy or whatever name you want to give to your project you can give it a name in your terminal this command will create a new angular application i already have created my angular application that is currently open in my editor so i will be using this one so i am currently using the angular 16 version so you can see from here as well now let's say our application has several modules so for this tutorials let's work with two modules home and about let me generate these two modules for that type the command ng generate module home and ng generate module about press enter this will generate two modules for you next we need to create a component in each module so let's create home component in the home module and about component in the about module for that type the command ng generate component home slash home and ng generate component about slash about press enter all right you can see that the about component and home component has been generated in these folders now let's set up the lazy loading once we have our basic setup ready we can proceed to set up the lazy loading so for that first we need to set up the routes for each module open the home module and in this folder we need to generate another module for the routing so i am generating the routing modules for home and about modules and they should be inside the about folder and they should be in the home folder and we don't want to create another folder so i will use flat here and flat as well here so this will not create a separate folder for these modules it will generate the module in the same folders as you can see now open these modules one by one first of all we need to define a variable constant routes import the routes from the angular slash router and give it an array and every element of array would be an object and it will have a path component and give it the component that is home component okay now we need to import the router module and call the function for child and pass it the routes that we just defined make sure the type is routes not route so that's why it was complaining all right now we need to export the route module that we just modified so after that open the about module and do the same thing i will copy paste these things so that i could reuse and here instead of home component i will use the about component and now i will copy this part as well important export So make sure you import all of the required libraries from the import statements. So here you can see that router module for child. We are using this because these are child routes. They will be merged with the routes from our root routing module. Now we need to set up our application to use these modules lazily. We will do this in the app routing module ts.ts file. So for that open the app routing.module.ts file and first of all i need to add the make sure you add the router outlet here so that we could load so now here i will define some routes so first route will be this path will be home and load children will expect a function that will return the response of import statement and give it the path of the home slash home module and use the, the dot then function and it will pass it a callback function 
and it will give us the module and m dot home module so we are returning the home module in this way so now i can repeat this process for the about module as well use about about module about module okay so with this setup when we navigate to slash home or slash about path angular will load the home module or about module respectively so now it's time to demonstrate the lazy loading so for that we need to run the angular application by running the command ng serve so run that command ng serve minus o this will open the app in the browser automatically once that is done we will navigate to our new routes that we defined so right now i don't have any button so in the app component i will add some buttons to link it with those pages for that add button home and here make sure to add the router link directive and pass it the path where you want to navigate and this will be for the about page or about route now you can see we have buttons if you click on the home it has taken you to the home page another important thing that we missed is that we have to import the router modules that we defined for example home routing module should be imported here and similarly in the about module we need to import the about routing module now let's test it you can see by default if i don't have anything here you will see nothing from those components if you click on the home the home route is activated and now you can see the content of the home component that you can see from here as well you can change it as well for example h1 home component okay and if you click on the about you can see the content of the about page as well so so as you can see our application is only loading the necessary modules as needed which results in quicker initial page load so i will show you practically as well in the network tab so for example i will go to the root and now reload it once and now i will show you click on the home reload it again clear it click on the home and you can see as soon as i clicked on the home it downloaded the content or component from the server for the home module so you can see all of the code is available in this file and if you click on the another module another button about that is another route and it will automatically download the next module lazily for you so in this way you can lazily load the modules that will save a lot of time for you so this is the lazy loading in action and it's powerful technique to improve the performance of your angular application so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you uh, you now have a good understanding of how to implement lazy loading in angular if you found this helpful then please like the video and share it and subscribe to our youtube channel for more coding tutorials thanks for watching